Hello everyone! And <coughs> what's that? Everyone's sick and staying home and playing video games? Very cool! Today, we are in quarantine. That's right, you can't go out. So, I thought for myself, hey, what am I gonna do? Well, you should continue on as you always do. Sit home and play video games. So, why not emulate that experience in Crusader Kings? I think you already know where I'm going with this. Today, we are surviving the Black Death in Crusader King. Very cool. What are we waiting for? Let's just jump into it. It being a disease that killed a third of the population of Europe. <coughs> we could go with any of these start dates. But I've heard from reliable sources that the Black Death doesn't start spreading until very late in the medieval age. Koifish just brushed up on his historical knowledge and it turns out that the plague didn't start until the 1300s, the 1300s. Very cool. So let's do a c c custom game setup. We're gonna use a special time warp and we're gonna have to listen to this super annoying sound. <laughs> and no, I'm not talking about my voice. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, this is my life going past me. <laughs> Very cool. We're starting here. The 1st of May. Koi fish, tell me, did something cool happen this year, this day? Interesting koi fish. Please tell me more facts about history. We are heading right into it and playing as Duke Asso of Ferrara, the very coolest Italian, having a grand old time here in Ferrara. Very cool koi fish. We're going with the standard rules, Iron Man mode, no shitty doodling. All right, here we are in the wonderful, soon to be plagued world of Italy. But wait, this map mode makes me feel like I have a cough. A, a, a fever and my throat hurts, which could be the symptoms of a very bad disease I can't mention due to demonetization. Ah! We are Duke Asso the Third, a long line of asses. <laughs> my great grandfather was an ass, and his father was an ass, and I am an ass as well. And this is is my duchy. I own two places. Very cool. The Duchy of Modena, on the border of the Holy Roman Empire. I hope I hope will last. We need to prepare. My grandfather looks like a sneaky old dude, man. He's a lustful, content man. There's a bit of a snake. Ooh, be careful around him. We are on the verge of greatness. Or rather, the verge of ruin. The bubonic plague will start bubbling up here. Probably because someone is taking a big dump on the streets. What are you doing, India? Soy sola? More like soy... Soy sola, am I right? Shut the fuck up, Koifi. Rum? Yes, please. And some ice, too. <laughs> Serbia. <laughs> Why are you so hungry? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, koi fish. Now, we need to prepare our defenses for the coming play. And we'll first do that by checking that we have an adequate health system. We have no hospital. Oh, God. This might become a problem. So let's see our current situation. We are unmarried. That can be fixed. Wife died. Natural death. I'm sorry. Let's marry the princess of the Holy Roman Empire. Just get a bit of a <clears throat> alliance. I want a friend. And we have our son, Ricardo. And he's attractive. I think we all know what Ricardo we're talking about. Also, it has come to my attention that I am the greatest sneak thief that has ever existed. I'm an elusive shadow with big ambitions. I lie, I am angry, and I talk a lot. What can we do to prepare? Well, we can try and make our standing in the land even stronger. Let's go intrigue. And <laughs> let's kill the Kaiser of the whole Roman Empire. The best way to strike is to strike quick and hard and before anyone notices that you were even hitting them. And also, let's recruit a court physician. Send out the messages. We need a skilled physician that can help me in the coming plague. I've had an epiphany. I woke up and I was like, <gasps> you know, in the final destination. But here it was just everyone's dead. So uh, only one who knows us is it me, Duke Asso. And I ain't telling anyone I'm not snitching. So let's get into it. You know what? Let's not kill that guy. Oh, back up. I'm sorry. Might have been a bit hasty with the dagger, you know. Your ranger support of an erudite herbalist that resides in a hut on the outskirts of a nearby town. She's clever, all of the social distancing. She's named Lavinia and seems eager to accept the offer of becoming your personal physician and preparing an immense bundle of strange herbs. 
Is this my is this my local Moriana dealer? Absolutely, you're hired. Medicinal herbs. <laughs> jihad for Anatolia. Not our problem, man. You can jihad all you want. Keep Bugai. I sent a steward bishop. I sent steward bishop Castore to oversee the construction in the county, and the building fell apart. What? If you want to keep the job, pay up. Thank you. Also, you're not keeping the fucking job anyways. Suck a peepee, -pee, okay? I'm appointing my uncle. My uncle is now the steward and he's here to collect tax. Also, what the flipping heck in a handbasket? You, my brother, <laughs> nepotism. Jesus Christ, I'm just putting my brothers on the spy master. I got a, I got a son for that. Cool. Do I not have any more sons I could put here? All right, cool. We'll, we'll. We'll keep the- we'll put this guy instead. Alright, my son, my uncle, and my two brothers, we are now ruling the country. I don't see how this could go wrong. At all. Oh, we're heading for war. Ah, you know, I'll join. We'll, we'll be joining. I pledge my troops here, okay? It is always good to join. And also, we have a few years to spare, you know? But I think we should get a cool alliance. They don't think we should get a cool alliance. Oh well, at least I have uh, the cool support. Ah, look at this, the war chest is filling up. It's like a GoFundMe to kill Muslims. <laughs> Ricardo, you need to be ambitious. And my beneficiary, who? Who should that be? My uncle, maybe. Albrandino de Esde. Very cool man. I would trust him with my life, but uh, he's not that good of a doctor, so I'm not gonna, okay? Just a figure of speech. Who is this? The king of Bulgaria wants to bang my sister. No? They want to marry it to some fucking commander. No. It also happened to be your brother. Well, suck a dick. She can find a better husband. We need to find a cool pastime. We're a good sneak thief. Could we maybe like... Um... No, we're too stupid. Alright, this poop doesn't like us. That's a problem. We kill the poop. No, we don't. No one wants to kill the poop with me. Spend money on plots that don't uh, do anything for you? Yes, real shit. Kill... Kill the doge. Outdated meme. He's fat. He's slothful and he's greedy. Thank you for listening to my PowerPoint presentation about why we should kill Serene Dog Pietro the 13th of Venice. There have been too many of them, so I think they should go. Thank you and uh, have a good evening. I knocked on the door and heard him swear when something was knocked on the floor and broke. Ah, no, not my Nintendo Switch! When he finally called, come in, I opened the door and saw the messy room filled with weird looking glasses, stuffed exotic animals, and the man I was visiting in the middle of the mess was si had singed eyebrows. Mm. Are you being an occult man? Please tell me. And if you are, could you consider not being that? There is options, of course. I could just kill you. That is a option. I could also have you be in prison and then kill. That is a bit of a spicy option too. And lastly, we could just straight up kill you. Uh, which is, you know, my preferred option. Oh god! He said the... The word we're not allowed to say anymore. We used it. We're going out to war. All right, boys. What better cause to fight than Jesus? Everyone, get ready to fight for Jesus. We got a shit ton of money for some reason. This looks like a bad game of of diplomacy. There's so many troops. I love it. All right, get on the boat. Get on the water. We are <laughs> heading to Egypt. Jesus Christ, you did a jihad? What happened? <laughs> That's what happened. Who's this? My brother. Absolutely. Go and join the Knights Hospitaller. He was my marshal. Fuck. Uh, do I have any other brothers? No, but we have Andrea, which is a girl's name in Sweden. We are here and we are a crusader. Thank you. We came just in the nick of time, just like at the end. <laughs> Let's see here. Where is, where is that lighthouse? I want to personally <laughs> rip it apart. All I want for Christmas is a lot of war scores so I can give Egypt to my brother. As we camp for the night, riders bearing the cross suddenly approach. Led by the pious grandmaster Sancho of Knights of Santiago. You have too many offs, okay? They settle down with us for the night. Just before I'm going to sleep, Sancho asks if I've heard about the news. And I say, no, tell me. And Sancho starts explaining that there's a man, okay? And he turns himself into a fucking pickled turnip. It's crazy. He... He use, and his pick, his turnip Richard, okay? It's crazy. Anyways, we'll have a conversation. I think this is absolutely gonna be cool. Are we friends? I have a friend! Grandmaster Sancho! Very cool! Wow, my favorite Castilian. My old hag I carry with me. Help me, please. Insisted that you should abstain from food in order to feel better. Three day fasting! Wow, gotta go fast, as he said. As the prophet Sonic, Sonic said. 
Gotta go fast, so I fasted. I'm up there, but not like up there, okay? I I think we should be in more battles. Contribute more. I have the flu! Woman, treat me! But just ah, it would be kinda shitty that I'm, I'm meant to survive the plague and I die of the flu. <laughs> Alright boys, change of plans, we're taking a night boat to Cairo As we settle down for the night in Al Malidi A comet passes overhead Comet? What, you mean like one of my super cool patrons? Comet? Comet, what do you think of this comet? <laughs> wow comet, good knowledge God and comet guides our hand very cool. Also, I got ill treatment. Jesus. As you're working, court physician Lavina bursts into your study. Oh, have you heard of Thai elves? My duke, you've been up all night. It would be in your best interest to not work so hard, lest you shall collapse from exhaustion. Should I work from home? Is that what you're saying? I can take it easy for my health? I do have the flu and I'm a bit old, okay? I'll take it a bit easy then, you're right. I'll kick down and have a gamer juice. <laughs> As he's growing older, little Ricardo here could use some guidance. Mmm, I can make him become patient, or I can make him diligent. I'll make him patient. Very good. Oh no, I've run out of the money. I think it is time to, to put the boats back home. Any cool juice? Thank you. Cool juice? Thank you, juice, for fu fueling the war economy. Come on, let me use each down, Cairo. Oh! Too late! God has granted King Edward of England victory and his beneficiary, Queen Mary! Mary of Scott? More like Mary of Egyptians. And my brother became a duke. Armor of the cross? And a nail of the true cross? The nail that nailed Jesus to the... To the cross? Wow! I'm gonna use this as a toothpick. And we have 4,000 smackaroonies. We're gonna use this to further healthcare in our land. As I don't want to die from the fucking plague. Wait! No! The plague? Egypt? The plague's from Egypt? Oh god, it's gonna be raining toads any moment now. Alright, it is time we spend some on this hospital. A sick house, very cool. It's gonna be hecking expensive. But my goal is to keep these men and women safe. I'm building hospitals in both Modena and the Ferrara. What? What's this? There are rumors of exotic strangers in weird looking ships. Sure it's not the Venetians? Making landfall along the Atlantic coast. Speaking no known language. Trying to buy land in exchange for obsidian beads. Calling for the feathers and gold. After refusing their offers, local rulers were apparently threatened with terrible curses and the might of a great emperor from beyond the Atlantic oceans. Ha! A fantasy menace! Is this the end times that I foresaw? Was it not a plague, but instead brown skinned people coming from the west? Oh god, this is terrifying. Let's hold a summer fair. And let's search for a smith. I want you to make me very cool jewels. Not the jewel, but jew jewels. I had invited a monkey trader to the summer fair. And the performance went well until the monkey refused to ride the top of a pig. The trainer beat the monkey with a stick. Which led to the other monkeys attacking the trainer, fighting him. And hitting him with his own stick. <laughs> Here's the money! Don't wanna see you again! Take your monkey somewhere else, man. What the hell? What the fuck? It was great fun! Very fun affair! I got to see a man be assaulted by monkeys. My son, Ricardo! Ah, uh, it came out a bit bad, but um, it's fine. What if I gave you like a barony, okay? No one landed sons for me, huh? Wow! I've gone so many ambitions in my life. Why not just become king of the papal states, huh? I want Ferrara, and I, I, I do want it like now, okay? Thank you. Two arms, men. Two arms. Uh, I, I, that is why I'm fighting the Pope. Well, at least we have mountains, so... Pray for me. I'm going into battle. And it's gonna be glorious. Hold the mountain. Win the war. Come on. Come on, we can do it. I'm calling the mercenaries. Help. <laughs> Fuck. The hats are being slaughtered too. I'm, I'm fighting against the, against the commander. I'll slay him. Oh. Oh, little boy went- He did not do well in the duel. Why- Who lied and said he did? What the heck? He just got slaughtered and someone's like, He did well in the duel. I thumbs up, let's do this. Duke Asso! Oh, well, shit in a, a sink. What is going on? Trick this, okay? I'm gonna spend big money on this, okay? We're getting the white company. I ain't fucking around with this. Now, crush the papal dates. Oh, look! She's actually a good medi medicine woman now. Very cool. Now crush the bastards. Give me my lands. Come on. I'll duel the commander. Come on. I lost the duel. And we lost the battle. That's pretty bad. But you know what? Monday is temporary. Glory is forever. Now please don't take my kids, okay? Please don't sit down and take my kids. Go and win. Come on. 
For glory! Very cool! Now we fight! For honor! No! My brother! You died? Oh well, my little nephew! He holds the, the, the duchy, very cool. Now take out these popes. Battle popes, battle pope. We kill you. No, you died of great box. What's this? Thousands of exotic ships have arrived on the western coast of Iceland, spewing out numberless hordes of ululating warriors <laughs> in weird armor sporting feathers and bone. These invaders from beyond the sunset worship hellish demon gods, sacrificing the population of entire towns and altars erected on top of pyramids. They cut their victims' hearts out, carefully flay them, and let their devil priests wear the skins for many days. God have mercy on us. What the flipping heck? Iceland, are you okay? Jesus Christ, it's a bird man! No! Bird man? Oh, they're coming for Morocco too! And here I thought the plague was gonna be a problem. Ah! Let them attack us. We'll drive them out. What? No, they left. Well, at least you didn't revolt against me, which is good. Alright. Pope, I will admit my defeat. No, I won't. Fuck off. Suck a showed. Pope. For honor! And glow. Oh, well, shit. You know what? Here. Here. Hello. Formal declaration of surrender has been sent. We like to give up. Thank you. Well, shit. That sucked. Corfish is bad. The travels of Marco Polo. The Venetian merchant Marco Polo. Has finally returned to Europe. What has he found? Cathay and Manji. Very interesting. But it's, it's a stunning tale. Nothing more. I don't believe him. I think it's fake. Ah, my coffers are empty. But the coffers of my vassals are full. I will eBay to them. Also, if your coffers are full, you can consider donating to my Patreon. No, I'm not joking. I'm plugging my Patreon here. You can check out my Patreon in the description and pinned comment. I have some super cool rewards, you might wanna check him out. Support the fish, he needs the fish food, thank you. Ah, very good, he donated to my Patreon. He owes me a favor. Ah, he put himself in debt because of me. What an absolute chad. Do I have any rich other people? Hello? He fabricated a plot? Shit-faced shit fucker. Fucking mongoloid! Ah! I lie and say that he likes to dress up as a woman. In these days, it uh, is bad, but today, you know, you could probably get away with it. Also, this little boy, we're sending him to a holy order. Sending you to my friend, okay? Bye! Pietro, you tried to kill your nephew, I'm sending you to find someone else. If you're so eager to spill blood, you spill the blood of anyone else. Not here. Move. We're back on track. Money lost has been recuperated. Eh, somewhat. And... We are ready to face the plague. All of Iceland is now a colony of the Aztec Empire, excuse me? And Norway too? The Vikings who sailed to Vinland met the natives who warned them of a powerful empire to the south. But those warnings went unheeded. Yeah, because they told the Vikings. We tried to warn the Vikings. They told them, flat pack furniture and huge warehouses are annoying. And yet they went on to make Ikea, so. If only someone had listened. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Holy macaroni, that is a lot of troops. Here I thought the plague was gonna be bad, but there's Aztecs. You know what? God put me on this earth to do something. I'm gonna kill that bastard. I'm gonna send an assassin and I'm gonna make him pay, make him suffer. Also, Jesus Christ, you be looking kinda cute, not gonna lie, but not cute enough to not kill you. That son of a bitch is going down. He found out I was killing him instantly. Jesus. H how does he even understand me? I don't speak his language. We're gonna poison him with wine. He He's dead. <laughs> the Duke Asso, the slayer of Aztecs. I put you on my altar and sacrifice you to my god. Huh? The, the role reversal. How about that? Also, this little cack boy. You could like force vassalize him. And get some more land. This little soy boy. Oh yeah, we're doing it. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth caramel, okay? Don't you try and hire mercenaries, because I can't afford that. You know that. It would be incredibly unsportman. Of you. The Lord Mayor of Lucca. I've been to Lucca. It's a very nice city. It has a huge ring wall around the actual city. And if you get the chance to visit, you totally should. Maybe not now though, as we're kind of, you know. Mm. Alright, down you go, you stupid merchant. The Aztec spread disease. <gasps> it is happening! It's happening, everyone! Stay calm, we prepared for this! Here I thought the plague was gonna be the problem. And the Aztecs! There is no end to the evils the Aztecs have inflicted upon this land. A strange disease emanating from their conquered territories has begun to spread throughout the old world. The symptoms are similar to the dreaded Great Pox, but this cursed plague seems even more virulent. Holy shit, this- Oh no! What is- What a plot twist! Men skilled in the art of medicine have dubbed it syphilis! Oh god. And attempted to treat it this far has met with failure. 
No. It's being carried by refugees and merchants. No. We're being punished for our sins. Smallpox spreads across the sea. Oh no, it seems that the plunder and slaves are not the only thing the Aztec sailors have brought back. What? <laughs> They caught the smallpox. The streets and alleys of Tenochtitlan are said to be littered with the dead and the dying. Plague! <laughs> and the Aztec Empress commanded the immediate execution of all slaves. Oh, hoo -hoo, that's one way to deal with an <laughs> outbreak. Perhaps there is some justice in this world after all. Who knew that the stinky Europeans would be the best weapon against them? Very, very cool. Oh god, there is something spreading here. It's camp fever. Shut the gates. We are stuck in here. After finishing up a hearty breakfast, you belch contentedly and remark upon your foresightedness in ensuring Ferrara's larders are well stocked. However, as soon as the words leave your lips, you notice that suddenly Pant looked on your servant's face. My duke, you just ate the very last pickled boar's head. The boar turned himself into a fucking pickle. It was crazy. We don't have any more pickled boar heads. Shit. I thought we were, I thought we had prepared. Wasn't the whole point of this that we were preparing for this? Oh God. Minor food shortage. Everyone feel bad. Shit. Did we buy enough toilet paper? Mm. Wait, what's this? A sudden clatter sends you running to shake down your food supplies. You arrive in the storeroom. You used to see Beatrice. <gasps> this woman, she's wiping her mouth. Do we let her rot or she do be looking like a snack, though. She's brawny. Bye-bye! <coughs> <coughs> Who's this? Another courtier? I eat him too, you little snack boy. I'm in seclusion and eating people. And the camp fever is not even here yet. Why am I freaking out so much? <coughs> no! Ricardo, you were supposed to be the chosen one. He died of camp fever. That's why we're staying inside. Little Ricardo, I shall bury you. Who is this? Baron Stentore. A little bit of a food shortage never killed anyone. Ah, right. Will Duke Asso survive the plague? Will the Aztecs be able to conquer the lands? Or will they be thrown back into the sea? Has a little food shortage ever killed anyone? And will the Hellenistic faith once again return to this world? Find out in the next part of Surviving the Plague.